Well, today we are at Adams Antiques in Adamstown. It's been a few months since we were here the last time, so I'm hoping that we find some new treasures that we can buy and float for a profit. Here we go. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. This is the first case that I decided to peek through and one that I have actually looked through in the past. There is still a Mondrezado vase in there, but unfortunately there is a lot of chipping on the edge and I just felt like the chipping was a bit too much to make an exception for. This glass vase was gorgeous with hand painting enamel. It was $65 with 50% off, but unfortunately when I got it out, I noticed it had a very large crack on it. And that... And that, and that, and that. Oh my gosh, this is... Look at that. Ah. Oh my god. I like, I really don't need anything for myself, but I've never seen this one in real life. Oh my god, it's amazing. I'm so tempted right now. It's one I don't have. <laughs> you don't have it. But it's also $350. I don't think I've ever paid that much for a piece of Hager but before. you've never seen that one before. No, not in person. Oh my god. Alright, I'm going to go ask if there's a discount. The dealer ultimately came down to $295 on this Hager piece, and I bought it for my own personal collection because I do collect Hager. This little tea light here had a jeweled B on it. There was a marking there on the bottom, J, but that's not... A marking I'm familiar with and it was $15 so I really wasn't sure of the value on that. Now this booth we have had very good luck with in the past and as you can see everything is 30% off. There was a nice decanter with some gold on it uh, hand painted $95 of course with 30% off. Unfortunately I just didn't see a whole lot of profit in that even with the discount. There's some Williamsburg um, slip glaze pottery. I always get distracted by that, <laughs> thinking it's older than it is. And then I found a Vilroy and Bach trinket box, and it is $8 plus 30% off. And then we came across the angel. This beautiful angel, they're calling it a clam broth angel. It was $120, but the best part is there was a pair. So <laughs> I kind of checked it out closely to make sure that there was no damage. They have a tendency to have chipped wings or there's usually almost always something wrong with them. But these were in incredible condition. Um, however, they were $120 a piece, which is a little bit spendy. And I wasn't quite sure that I wanted to spend $120 a piece. And that's when I realized that the booth just happened to be 40% off. So after doing a little bit of math and taking into consideration uh, the sale on the booth, I did decide to buy them. I feel like I've looked at this piece in previous videos. I think that the, the bright colors have just attracted my eye. But $75, I wasn't sure that I could do much with that. And then I saw this wall pocket and it kind of reminded me of a piece that I picked up in yesterday's video at the Goodwill, except this piece was wood and the one from yesterday was pottery. They're calling this a tumbler. It's uh, $28. There is a signature on the bottom. I loved the iridescence. It was kind of like an oily iridescence and it also had that applied thread around along the midsection which I thought was a very nice design so I bought this and then Dagny and I found this amazing piece now this was $300 and I wasn't sure how much it was worth but I wanted to share it with you guys because it's not anything I've ever seen before and it even had its original tag tipsy Tim <laughs> what a fun mid-century piece here we had 30% off of this booth and I decided to look through the case to see if I could spot anything that was not here um, on our last visit. They have some beautiful glass in this case. 
I noticed these grapes and I've picked up um, Lucite grapes recently and they've been doing well for me so I was checking these out to see if they were Lucite but they were glass and they were kind of just wrapped wire and I didn't know what the resale value of the glass grapes would be. Up here was a beautifully hand-painted enamel bottle. There were butterflies and florals. It was missing its stopper like the last enameled bottle I had that I found the stopper for, but that one only sold for $28, so I passed on this bottle. Here is a planter. I had a little bit of trouble getting her out of there. Uh, she kind of reminded me at first of California pottery, but the more I handled her and looked her over, I thought, you know what, she may be made in Japan. And I'm not sure that's a real desirable design. It's not very kitschy. So I stuck her back there just as carefully as I took her out. And I picked up this mug instead. You can see it is marked there on the bottom. It looks like Francis, but it had a very neat design. Down here, there was a fish vase hiding, a little fish bottle or vase. It's definitely a decorative piece. But I've been picking up nautical stuff lately and it's been selling. So it was $10 and I suspect there was also a discount on this booth. I can't recall what it was. I also reached for this shell and you can see there it is signed on the bottom. It was $3 but it also had as is on the label and that scared me off. I didn't even bother to see what was as is about it. I thought that was glass and it was plastic. The chick planner was adorable. There were two little chicks and obviously it's shaped like an egg. $60, there was a discount, 15%. Uh, it is marked on the bottom. It appeared to be a German mark, not one that I am familiar with. It's a G and a P. I'm sure I'll be able to figure out when I go, when I go to list it. The bottles were absolutely stunning and had I not paid $295 for the Hager piece, I may have considered them for my own collection. This Yadro Shepherd was adorable. And this lady, we were a little confused about. She looked kind of Art Deco, but she was also rocking the bathrobe there. So I'm not sure exactly what was going on with that, but it was very cool. And then as I was waiting to check out, I noticed this vase hiding in the back with some more hand-painted enamel. It was $25 and I loved the bird. Okay, well my total spend there was about $565, but $295 of that was for that amazing hanger piece, which is going into my collection. That's not one I've, I've had before, that's not one I've seen before in person, so I'm so stoked about that. Um, but we are here now, we are literally in the same complex. Um, Vintage Kitchen is Tommy's new store. He opened his very own store. It is open to the public. I gave you guys a tour of his warehouse before, um, but this is his store that he opened, I believe in November on Black Friday. So we haven't made a trip out here yet um, since he opened, but I'm really excited to show you guys all of his treasures. So we're going to head in now and uh, surprise Tommy. Actually, not really surprised. He knew I was coming today, but he didn't know when, so it's a little bit of a surprise. <laughs> so that's it, and here we go. All right, Vintage Kitchen. Closed Wednesday, but open all the other days. Oh my gosh, what is this? I'm just going to... Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, you! I love your matching shirts. You're all matchy-matchy. <laughs> So I think we're gonna buy a bunch of stuff in here. This is fantastic. I recognize some of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, we've added, we've added, and we, we brought new. Oh, oh my gosh, you know what that, that is? It's a decorative teapot, is it? Yeah, What's so his face? The, the couple, Irving, is that the last name? Or last I can't name? remember the last name, but I've bought and sold these before, yeah. and they're absolutely stunning. I love this one. The last one I had was clear. It was like so boring. I'm like, why did they make a clear one? I love that. I'll take that for sure. And then I'm going to take these. Do you mind if I reach in? I know some places don't like that, but Tommy knows me. All right. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, I'm going to take that one. And I'll take this one. <laughs> Just walked in the door. <laughs> 
So I just pulled these off the shelf as well. This one is 28 and this beautiful piece is 48. It's red and white and um, yeah, it's $48, but it's a satin glass. It's beautiful, it would be perfect for Christmas. It kind of reminds me of a peppermint. So um, we're gonna add these two pieces as well and I, I feel like it's gonna be a little spendy. This is the start in the fin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah. I know, you heard them too? <laughs> oh, wow. It leads all the way down into the Westmoreland. And fair, I'm going to buy all your fairy lights today. <laughs> okay. Like that, that, uh, I don't think I've ever seen that design or, before. But there's, there should be a bunch of them here too. Oh, wow. That might be one up there. And then, more glass. Acro agate. Depression. This is all... <laughs> All glass this way. Oh all, my god! All glass, all glass on that wall over there. I'm in heaven. This is amazing. And Kathy sits in that corner to list everything online. That's her little. Photo this is such a great there. setup. Wow, and it's bigger than your last setup. More, Way it bigger. seems like there's a lot more there's space, lot space and there. work tables. Yep. Wow, this is great. Still use the van for storage of peanuts outside. <laughs> <laughs> Can never have too many of those. <laughs> Did not have enough room for peanuts inside. Oh, that's funny. I don't think I've ever seen these with the yellow lids before. Those are just great. And of course, he's got his Pyrex room. <laughs> All the Pyrex. And it's so colorful and so fun. Wow, for all my Pyrex viewers, here you go. <laughs> These plates are kind of fun. Star Wars Corral. Oh, I didn't know Corral made a Star Wars line. What? That's neat. All right, well, let's go back to the glass room because I saw some fairy lamps I liked. Okay, so I was checking out these fairy lights down here. Um, this one is absolutely stunning, and I can bet you it glows. It's a three-piece, and it's got all of the pieces. And then this one is $25 as is, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. I'm assuming it was probably set down a little too hard and maybe chipped there on the base where it sits. So I think we'll take both of those fairy lights. I'm really loving this red for Valentine. This right here is like the Valentine's Day section, I feel like. <laughs> $24 on that. This is really cute for Valentine's Day, this Westmoreland heart dish. Also this square one, I think this is what they call their jewel box. And they got 24 on that. Look, that one even says love. So I think I'm gonna bring these up front and then I'm gonna maybe get a key for those fairy lights. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, it looks like a chip. I'll still take it though. And then... Oh, the fairy lights in this guy too. Does it glow? I have a flashlight in the front. I have one in my purse. Let's check it. Courtesy of Dad me. She bought it for me because I never had one with me. Look, oh, at, look that. at that! It's beautiful. That's fantastic. Okay, yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> this is a beautiful Fenton Wave Crest. We bought one of those not too long ago. It was a blue version. I love the red. I love it. I'm obsessed. I knew you, I'm would, obsessed. Love, I knew you would like the Fenton cases. I'm obsessed. <laughs> 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 and then the Burmese. Oh my goodness. Check this out. It's like a pine cone pattern. Oh, you know what? I think it's cracked. Something's not right. I can feel it. I heard something. You heard it? Okay. I'm just going to set that back up there. Yeah, something's not right. 
when you put out your you, you heard it grind? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Here's a bunch of acro agate. I don't think I've ever seen this before. That apple. It's pretty neat looking. $22 for that. I believe it's an ashtray because you can see the indent on it. And we have all the planters and then they have the kids stuff. This is actually one of the boxes for it. <laughs> the kids, kids set. Over here. This looks like it might be Atterberry. I have this dish. Yep, you can see the pot and mart right there. I love it with the blue stone. I don't think my stone is blue. I can't remember what color it is. Those are nice Atterberry pieces. I'm just taking it all in. It's a lot to take in. I love the Fostoria. And he still has all of his eBay stuff in the basement and it, the shelves are just as packed. <laughs> so it's just incredible. Oh boy. That is a beautiful piece right there. An amber glass, and a black vanity box, dog lid. That's like so deco. 125 on that. I'm digging it. A marathon. When the phone's ringing. <laughs> oh, in the in the vanity depression glass vanity book, they show this exact one, but uh -huh. with a different top, not with the dog. Okay. It's with a sheep. Oh, so, really? With a sheep? Yeah, which is unusual. Yeah, so, I like the dog though. He's I like the dog cool. better. This is a pretty vase back here, Nippon. Look at that pretty design. It's, it's floral. Good. It is marked on the bottom. Nippon. Yes, but what is that other thing? To Tohina E O. Oh yes, that's what it says. Yep, <laughs> you're right. It does. It does. It does say that. Okay, good. It didn't sound right, but it oh. looks right. At his physician, there was another Russell Henry, but he was right-handed. So, so that left-handed Russell Henry. Yeah. Oh wow! You know, I have another mug that because after I saw this one, I was obsessed with it, and I found one in an antique mall, and I bought that one, and it was a left-handed mug, and I think they had it marked down yeah. because it was left-handed. <laughs> but I was like, that looks like the one that I really like with the bird. <laughs> so yeah. sweet. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So when we took the kids to the Landis Valley Museum, they had a Redware collection. Uh huh. I, it was funny because one of the one of the people that shop here yeah. and bought some of it, she had pieces in the curated Really? But yeah, so it was local and Redware artisans. White. That's right. I, I don't think that's it's official. It's different. But yeah. It's definitely like a whiter clay. Oh, I'm obsessed. Even though it's in the Redware era. Yeah, I've had my eye on that ever since you had it over at Mad Hatter. I'm like, I love that so much. <laughs> Do you see the Christmas trees? I do too. I don't think that they are Murano, but they are absolutely delightful. Oh, I didn't know that this was Tommy stuff. Remember when we looked at that little oh, yeah. kitty there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That one looks like it has snow on it, though. When... It does. It definitely does. Did you see that? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't film that on my video. Oh. <laughs> Why? Was it too scary? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, look I at like, that! I went like this. <laughs> I oh, that's so baby funny. Out. <laughs> okay, well, that was a really fun trip <laughs> to the Vintage Kitchen. We had never been there before. They recently opened, as I said. Um, it was their soft opening, but their grand opening is going to be Valentine's Day weekend. It is 2022 is the year. Um, and Tommy was telling me it's going to be the 11th to the 14th. So they're going to have their grand opening. And um, I just want to let all of you know that uh, they're going to be here. And you should come and check it out. But our total spend there was $635. We got some really incredible stuff. Um, I did buy, I bought a mug for myself. Um, if you remember back at Mad Hatter, I had filmed a mug with a uh, lovebird on it carrying a note. I absolutely loved it. And I like, I saw it again in here today and I'm like, I have to have that. I want it. It's probably the most I've ever spent on a coffee mug. It was $150. Um, I don't think I'm going to tell Andrew. <laughs> You got mad when I spent $65 on a coffee mug, but I'm going to use this every day for the next year just because 
I have to get my use out of it. So um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I guess I'll see all of you tomorrow. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.